What is going on everyone? We're back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the dog days of summer. New program coming out. This is a two week long program coming on out. Uh, it's coming out on tomorrow, Friday. So it's going to be pretty exciting coming on out the 19th. And we already have a lot of the cards already released. I don't know if there's any more. I'm pretty sure these are just the normal cards. We have the henchman cards you guys are seeing on your screen right now. And then we have some of the bosses we're going to talk about as well. So we can see by the henchman packs, we already have some really high overalls for henchmen. You know what I'm saying? We have this Keith Hernanderson. You know, 95 MVP award series. You know, we obviously have another Adrolton Simmons card, finest uh, retro, 96 overall. And we also have a 96 Troy Percival retro finest, a closing pitcher right there. Only pitcher on the, out of the henchmen so far uh, that we have today. So that's pretty interesting as well. Then we also have 95 Harold Baines. He hit the 2,000 club in career hits. He actually ended at 2,866, as you see on the card right there, 95 overall milestone. And then our last card we have is 96 overall Robin Roberts. 200 win club is the milestone card. And then he's got 286 career wins uh, in his career card. We actually had a card like that last year, I'm pretty sure. And he was okay. I'm wearing to see how that one is this year. But these are our henchmen cards. So these are the cards you'll find in those classic packs or the AL and NL. I'm not sure, probably in the classic ones because we had five for the Field of Dreams, so it'd be the same for this probably. So these are those cards you have to do missions and all that good stuff with. And then our first boss that got revealed was 99 Cal Ripken Jr. Obviously shortstop from the 1984 season. Retro finest card, it looks pretty sick. I really do like this card art they're going with here. And we, I haven't used Cal Ripken in a while. I haven't used a 99 Cal Ripken. I think in a minute. I don't really remember the last one that was in the game. So we finally have another 99 shortstop except for Cruz, I think is the only other one. O'Neill Cruz, the future stars. I think he's the only other 99 shortstop in the game. And I think this is the last position that needed a 99 um, to fill it out. So we do have Cal Ripken. Really excited to use him as well as one of the bosses. So that's very exciting to see. And then we also have one of the best catchers of all time. Johnny Bench, 99 overall milestone card. Obviously, he's known for a thousand ribbies, which he got in 1977. So really excited to use this card, another catcher, um, you know, to the to the squad. I, I, there's a couple 99 catchers. We have Yadier Molina and a couple others, I think, but there's not many. I really can't think. Yadier's the only one I could think of, but another 99 catcher. So I really can't wait to use him and see what he's all about. And at 150 XP in the program, we get 98 second half Mickey Mantle from the New York Yankees in the 1961 season, where he had an absolute breakout season. He played really good at the end of that. That's why he's got the second half card. Also exciting to see this card. I'm pretty sure he did 99 last year, uh, but Mickey Mantle usually has a good card in probably every MLB The Show game at this point, just because he's that good of a player. So that is everything we heard about the Dog Days of Summer event. That's a tongue twister if you say it fast. So that's all we've heard about, you know, the cards that we're expecting to be in it. They haven't really talked about it much except for these tweets on Twitter. And that's pretty much it. But if you look at the schedule real quick, so if we take a look at the schedule here, the Dog Days of Summer it says two week program. And then there's three bosses and five henchmen. We've obviously saw the five henchmen. And then we saw two of the bosses. So there's still one to be announced yet. And then we saw the bonus 98 overall that's in, that's in the program as well so we've kind of seen everything that's going to be in that so we're just waiting on the last one who's it going to be not really sure else who they could add to the game that isn't in that i really want i mean obviously i'd love to see chipper jones you know the 99 last try i absolutely love to play with um that was a really good card to use i would like to see felix from last year that card was really good um, you know, I had really good success with, success with them last year. So there's a couple cards I'd like to see like that, but who knows? Put your suggestions in the comment section below. Love to hear what you guys want to think. And the last thing on the schedule is there's a roster update and beyond. So it says player attributes, upgrades, and downgrades. We obviously have new tops now, players from August. And then August 26th is going to be extreme, they said. So don't really know what that's going to entail with the August 26th going to be extreme. Um, I think it's extreme moments is what I've been hearing. I had a couple of people in my chat come in in a couple of the streams and say that. So it's going to be really interesting on what uh, the extreme moments are going to be, if that's what it is. And then we'll get a new schedule like that and everything else to see what else is going to come with this program. But if you guys enjoyed the video, obviously make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm always doing update videos and will be the show, all that good stuff. Yeah, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We obviously be posting daily and will be the show content here. And then on my TikTok and my clips channel, we'd be posting clips on both of those over there. So go check them down and down in the description below. If you want all the updates, check out my Twitter like always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.